Hello, thank you for joining us once again. This is your own, um, your friend, your brother, um, Bosman, and this is your channel, OBT TV. Uh, today we'll be doing a quick one, and maybe I'll be speaking mostly to parents, especially young parents, um, or, you know, parents at large. And maybe I'll be speaking on behalf of, you know, your children. You know, back then when I was preparing to have a family, I looked back and I thought, you know, what are the, the things, I, what are the things I think I can do best, especially for my children. And, you know, looking from my own experience, you know, people's experience, uh, looking at the past, uh, I thought, you know, what are some of the best things, you know, I can I can give them. And I will be looking at three things, um, which I think are very important. Uh, the first one may be a little bit controversial. I'll be dwelling on it, you know, for a couple of minutes. And that has to do with spanking or beating your children. Uh, I know that a lot of these are, you know, have generated um, you know controversies you know here and there especially if you look at where we came from you know back in Africa uh, the way you discipline your children um, a lot of people believe in spanking um, we are currently living in North America you can't even do it you know the way we would like to do and a lot of times we say that the society is you know, getting decayed because we can't spank or beat our children. And this may be true. Um, and while I'm not totally against um, spanking or beating, and why I think that, you know, maybe, you know, children of our nowadays have too much freedom. Uh, but I think the problem is that we don't discipline them. Um, I don't think the problem is spanking and beating. And I'm also saying this based on what I've seen. Again, if you go back to where part of the world, not even in Africa alone, where people spank or beat a lot, you know, when kids do something wrong, I, I think that we overuse it a lot. You know, we, we misuse that a lot. You know, that's my personal belief. And, you know, like I said, when I was going to have a family, I told myself, maybe this is one thing that I want to check. And what did I do or what do I believe or what do I always try to tell people is this. When a child does something wrong, it's more important to speak to the kid than beating or spanking the kid. And as I'm saying it, I can picture a lot of even maybe friends or family of people that have seen that, you know, the first thing they do when a child does something wrong is to do bam, you know, is to hit the child. Personally, a lot of time, and I'm saying this carefully, we have not communicated. Sometimes we beat them, they don't know why we are beating them. We will think that they know. Um, imagine a three-year-old, you know, sometimes, you know, even less, or four-year-old did something a couple of minutes ago in one room, you walk into another room or walk into the living room, you know, sees the dad, the dad heard about what he or she did, and the first thing is spanking. Sometimes the child is wondering, what did I do wrong? And what I always advocate for people is to, no matter how young the child is, even if he's one year old, even if he doesn't talk, if, if we think he doesn't hear, is to sit with the child and speak. To the child. Like I said, I'm not saying you shouldn't spank. Even when you want to spank or you want to beat, I think, you know, it's more important for you to do the one-on-one -on -one talk and say, this is the reason why I'm beating you, uh, than to just cultivate the habit of bam, 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 you know. Um, but like I said, what has worked a lot is, you know, when you sit down, you may not, you may discipline or the child in, in, many other ways uh, but 
that beating uh, is something that should be checked a lot of times. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of time we think that that's the best way to discipline. You know, sometimes we are making such kids, you know, to be more hardened. Sometimes, you know, um, we, we are making them to run away from us, you know, not to trust us and not be able to express themselves to us, you know. So again, that's the first thing I thought I would quickly, you know, talk about, especially in spanking and beating them, you know, let's talk to them. Even when you think we don't hear, when you think we can't hear you, I bet you they can hear you. And it goes a long way, um, you know, to ensure that, you know, they know why we are doing, you know, what we are doing. Um, I have a friend who's, who beat his child once and child came to him and said, you know, in a very emotional tone to let the dad know that you can do anything. You can do anything in the world, but Dad, I love you. Please, never beat me again. I said, you can do anything and I will correct myself. And the kid is a great kid. So again, we can always have conversation with them. Don't let us think it's only hard ones that we can have conversation with. The second thing is to love them unconditionally. I don't know how to talk about this or how to say this. Uh, loving them unconditionally means we love them as a kid, um, not because of who they are, who they will become, or what you know they do in life. Um, and I'm also saying this with the, you know, um, a sense of a sense of responsibility. Kids will not be equal; they will not be the same thing. They will not do the same thing. Some may miss it, some may make mistakes. But why we love them? wouldn't be whatever they would do. I've seen people that will even disown kids because they are not doing maybe a course or a career that they want. That's not loving unconditionally. Um, or disowning them, you know, for various things, you know. Um, and again, we can only do this, especially if we have the heart from the beginning, you know, that this is the kind of love that I want to have for you. This is the lens that can go for you, you know. I will, I will rather starve than see you going hungry, you know. I would rather be in pain than see you be in pain, you know. So, again, this is, you know, very important. You know, like I said, I spoke to, you know, spanking, you know, um, you know, talking to them, having conversations with them more than spanking. And I've talked about, you know, uh, you know, showing that uh, unconditional love, you know, a love that will say you know, no matter what, uh, I will always, you know, be there for you. And the third one for me has to do with their, some of your choices in life. Uh, we have the duty to guide them to the right path. But then when it comes to some of the choices that they will make, especially when it comes to career, and I can talk about that a lot, you know, a lot of time we think that we are towing them through the best part for their life and like I said we can guide them make them see options make them see reasons but the most important thing is their happiness and sometimes where they are, we are pushing them to may not lead to their happiness whereas if it comes from their heart doing what they want doing what they love they will live a happier a very happy life and the truth is that the more happy they are or you know the more we will be happy as well. Yeah, so these are a few things I just thought I just quickly once you know thought I should talk about you know this this week. Thank you again for joining us. Let's keep doing the great things that we're doing on our children, on our kids. I believe you know they will all grow to fulfill their potentials and fulfill um, you know whatever the passion that they have. So we'll see you again. God bless you and keep doing great things.